The thing, what I like about FlexClip, they're constantly updating their AI tools. I mean, if you go into the AI section, you can see there's quite a lot available. But not only that, if you go right down to the bottom of this, you see so many more tools. Like the amount that they give you is quite insane. Now, what they've done recently, they added up a new one, and I'll show you what that one is. It's AI Vocal Remover. So if you ever wanted a clip where you like the music, but you don't really want the vocals, and now you can actually separate that. So let's have a look on how that is done. If you're at the FlexClip homepage, you just click on the AI tools, you can quickly see here AI Vocal Remover. Or you can just simply scroll down and you can see it at the bottom as well. Now I did find something interesting. If I click on this one here, it will literally ask me to upload the audio. But I have a video and I want to pull the video, the audio separate that and then separate the vocals from the instruments. In order to do that, I have to create a video. So let's go in here, create a video. Now it's asking me for the clip, so I'm just going to say yes. And I'm going to use an old classic Shirley Bessie. If you know anything about old classic music, she is absolutely gorgeous to listen to. Let's open that up. And now I have it in my media folder. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add it to my timeline. Simply just hit the little orange square here or the plus sign. And let's have a real quick listen to it round right about here. absolutely gorgeous so now what I want to do I want to actually detach the audio first to do that I'm going to right click on the timeline itself detached audio now it will ask to save this now I don't want to save this the flex clip has a cloud it'll save it for you otherwise I'm just going to clutter unneeded files on my desktop now because I've detached it I have a new option here see this little audio settings if I right click on it sorry if I left click on it I have two options here reduce noise or vocal remover so let's hit vocal remover it'll take a little while but it's worth it let's click okay so once again it asks do you want to keep it on your desktop no i let flex clip store it in the cloud so i'm going to cancel that and it's going to ask for another one cancel that and the reason why it asked it literally separated the vocals from the instruments or the background music now let's go back into the media folder and you see what happens here i have now three audio files the original I have just the vocals and I just have the orchestra in the background. First off, let's just listen to the orchestra. No more vocals. That is absolutely brilliant. It's very clean and crisp as well. So let's get out of that one and let's listen just to the vocals. How brilliant is that? So if you either want the vocals or you want the orchestra, you can now do this. And obviously it's already on your timeline and you can just delete whichever one that you desire. Now I will tell you this, I had a few issues with this and I was going back and forth with flex clips trying to solve it. And I realized what I needed to do was to get a fairly decent quality video clip. If I download it directly from YouTube, the quality was poor. And I had to use another downloader to get more megabytes. Now once I had a pretty good high quality HD video, it worked flawless. So just keep that in mind when you are using the vocal separator. There you go. As always, FlexClip is definitely keeping up with the pace. And I think that is brilliant. And as always, thanks for watching.